Before we dive into the statement, it is important to understand what particle accelerators are. The Gigantic Hadron Collider, LHC, operated by CERN, is a 17-mile ring of superconducting magnets. It is the world's largest and most powerful particle smasher, representing the peak of human scientific achievement. In fact, it's so powerful that it can recreate the conditions of the universe's first moments. Yet, could this machine, designed to unlock the secrets of the universe, hold the key to something even greater? 35 Seconds Founded in 1954, CERN is one of the world's most famous research organizations. With 23 member states and countless scientists, it serves as a hub for collaboration and development. The LHC is CERN's chief project, but it's only one component of a vast network of particle accelerators and experiments. Picture a course, not for vehicles or people, but for subatomic particles, in a test of expertise, perseverance, and even space itself. The LHC accelerates protons to nearly the speed of light, sending them on a collision course that, 1 minute and 10 seconds, replicates the energy of the universe at the moment of the Big Bang. The effects of these collisions produce temperatures many times hotter than the center of the sun. An array of magnets guides the protons on their journey, while complex cooling systems keep the magnets colder than outer space. Inside the LHC, the beams are made to crash at four points around the accelerator ring, corresponding to four particle detectors, ATLAS, CMS, ALICE, and LHCB. Each detector serves a unique purpose, exploring different aspects of particle physics. 1 minute and 45 seconds. Together, they act as massive cameras, capturing images of these collisions. Researchers then sift through the debris, looking for signs of the elusive Higgs boson, also known as the God particle, and other anomalies that offer clues about the universe's fundamental building blocks. By focusing on the microcosm, we gain insights into the macrocosm. However, with each answer comes another question, and with every discovery, new tests arise. The LHC isn't just a scientific instrument, it is a demonstration of human curiosity and progress. It embodies 2 minutes and 21 seconds, our tireless mission to understand the universe and uncover the key forces that shape it. However, as we push the boundaries of what we know, we must also consider the more profound and existential questions that arise. What are the risks of delving into the unknown? Could our quest for understanding unintentionally open forces we have no control over? In the hallowed halls of CERN, where the limits of human understanding are continually stretched, a revelation has emerged that sends chills down the spine of even the 2 minutes and 52 seconds. Most prepared scientists. Brian Cox, a former researcher at CERN and a prominent voice in the field of particle physics, has recently made a statement that has captivated and unsettled the world. Cox's words resonate with chilling clarity. The goal of CERN's Large Hadron Collider is to replicate a small-scale Big Bang. Yes, you heard that right. A miniature version of the very event that gave birth to our universe. Cox also explained the ramifications of this objective, emphasizing the LHC's remarkable potential to make new. 3 minutes and 24 seconds. Discoveries. These include unlocking the secrets of the Higgs boson and exploring dark matter, a mysterious substance that constitutes a large part of the universe. Imagine holding the power of creation in your hands, the ability to conjure the very essence of the universe. It's a tempting possibility, but one fraught with risk. The miniaturized Big Bang isn't just a theoretical concept, it's a tangible reality within the LHC. The temperatures, pressures, and raw energy inside replicate the conditions at the 3 minutes and 56 seconds. Universe's birth. It's like standing at the dawn of recorded history, witnessing the birth of existence itself. However, with such power comes responsibility, and the question looms, what if something goes wrong? In fact, something did go horribly wrong. Back in 1978, Russian physicist Anatoly Bugorsky experienced a catastrophe that would forever alter the course of his life. While working on the U-70 synchrotron at the Institute for High Energy Physics in Russia, a misfire caused a proton beam to pass directly. Four minutes and 28 seconds. Through his skull. The beam, with a force that defies comprehension, entered the back of his head and exited through his nose. Bugorsky's experience was extreme. He saw a flash brighter than 1,000 suns, yet had no immediate worries. The beam's path caused severe damage, burning tissue and bone, 
yet Bugorsky remained conscious and even walked to the center for treatment. The outcome was both disturbing and fascinating. The beam's path caused localized tissue damage, leading to hearing loss in one ear and partial facial paralysis. Remarkably, five minutes and four seconds. However, his intellectual faculties remained intact, and he continued his scientific career. This incident isn't just an individual tragedy, it serves as a reminder of the immense power and potential dangers of particle accelerators. The risks of an atom smasher like the LHC are not to be taken lightly. The possibility of startling reactions and alterations to the very fabric of existence are real concerns, voiced by some respected researchers. One of the most disturbing and intriguing concerns related to the LHCs. 5 minutes and 36 seconds. Experiments is the possibility of creating a miniature black hole. Black holes are regions of space-time where gravity is so strong that not even light can escape. They are massive vacuum cleaners, devourers of stars, mysterious entities lurking in the shadows of the universe. The fact that the LHC could potentially create such an entity, even on a minute scale, is staggering to both the public and scientists alike. Could this black hole grow uncontrollably, swallowing the Earth from within? Scientists at CERN have assured the 6 minutes and 9 seconds public that any black hole created would be unstable and dissipate quickly. However, the remote possibility has sparked discussion, fears, and a sense of awe at the power we wield. To understand how the LHC could create a black hole, it's important to look at the fundamental mechanics of particle accelerators. When protons are smashed together at nearly the speed of light, the energy produced is so immense that it bends the fabric of space-time itself. Imagine a trampoline stretched tight with a heavy object dropped onto it. The 6 minutes and 41 seconds. Fabric bends, and if the object is heavy enough, it could create a depression so deep that nearby objects are pulled into it. This analogy helps explain what could occur at the LHC. In the realm of quantum physics, where the laws of the universe are strange and wondrous, there exists a theory that extra dimensions may be hidden within our reality. If these dimensions exist, the LHC's experiments could tap into them, creating a gravitational well that forms a small black hole. This mysterious dance of particles has even caught the attention. 7 minutes and 13 seconds of some renowned researchers, including the late Stephen Hawking. In his book, Hawking warned of a scenario in which the Higgs boson could become unstable at very high energy levels. This instability could lead to a destructive vacuum decay, a catastrophic event that wouldn't just destroy the Earth but could potentially annihilate the entire universe. The respected English cosmologist and astrophysicist Sir Martin Rees also expressed concerns about the experiments conducted at CERN. In his book on the future, Prospects for Humanity, Rees, 7 minutes and 45 seconds, discussed the potential risks of atom smasher tests, including those at CERN. His words weren't just precautionary, they were laced with a sense of existential fear. He explored the worst-case scenario where a failed experiment could create a condition called vacuum instability. This instability could theoretically trigger a phase transition, reverberating through the fabric of space-time and causing a catastrophic event that could engulf the entire universe. Rees acknowledged that such outcomes had a low probability, but he, 8 minutes and 16 seconds, argued that even a small chance warrants serious consideration. The stakes are incredibly high and the margin for error is razor-thin. The researchers at CERN have run simulations, analyzed theories, and taken every precaution to ensure the safety of the LHC. In fact, Brian Cox himself acknowledged the importance of these measures. Recognizing the widespread concerns surrounding the LHC's activities, Cox emphasized that there are rigorous safety protocols in place. Comprehensive reviews ensure that the LHC's operations are conducted with 8 minutes and 51 seconds. The utmost care. Cox reassured the public that the energies involved are well within the natural limits of Earth's environment and that the chances of creating a stable black hole are astronomically low. Even if one were created, scientists assert it would be so tiny and unstable that it would dissipate quickly in a burst of energy, a phenomenon predicted by Stephen Hawking, known as Hawking radiation. It would be a fleeting moment of cosmic wonder, just a glimpse into the abyss before disappearing. Some have speculated it has led to the discovery of the Higgs boson in 2012, a milestone that confirmed the last missing piece of the standard model of particle physics. 
This breakthrough not only validated decades of theoretical work but also opened new avenues of research into the fundamental nature of matter, energy, and the universe itself. Yet, as the LHC gears up for more powerful experiments in its upcoming runs, including possible upgrades to increase collision energy, some scientists and philosophers urge caution. With greater energy levels come greater unknowns. Could we encounter particles that behave in ways current models cannot predict? Could we unlock phenomena that force us to rewrite the laws of physics? One proposal gaining traction among theorists is the possibility of detecting supersymmetric particles, theoretical counterparts to known particles that could solve the riddle of dark matter. If found, these particles might bridge the gap between quantum mechanics and general relativity, two of physics' most successful yet incompatible theories. Alternatively, Failure to find such particles could force physicists to abandon long-cherished ideas and seek new paradigms. Meanwhile, debates rage in the halls of academia and online forums alike. Some argue that even if the risks are minuscule, the potential for irreversible harm, however improbable, demands a global consensus before proceeding. Others claim that halting progress due to hypothetical fears could stagnate human advancement and deny us answers to our deepest questions. Among the public, the LHC has become a symbol, a beacon of awe, anxiety, and inspiration. To some, it's the modern Tower of Babel, reaching too far into forbidden realms. To others, it is the crowning jewel of human curiosity, courage, and ingenuity. As beams race through the ring, crashing in bursts of subatomic fury, they whisper ancient truths to the detectors, truths that scientists must decipher. Whether those truths bring illumination or reckoning, only time, and perhaps the next round of collisions, will tell.